Right, folks, I am spoiling you today. Um, just been round Morrison's. Get that fucking thing off. Need a shave. <coughs> Get stuck in my whiskers. Um, for June, once again. Um, right, just been round Morrison's, folks, uh, to do the uh, last few bits of the Christmas shop. You know, the fresh goods, that kind of shit. You know, stuff that you can't buy too many days before Christmas, or it goes fucking off. So, with all the media hype of um, all the shelves going empty, there'll be no... Um, There'll be no lettuce and stuff like that because of the uh, blockade at the um, the port because of this super virus that Boris has mentioned and it scared the rest of Europe. Lights, action. Um, so anyway, the, the media are like really pumping this thing like there's going to be people queuing outside shops and shelves are empty. I know Leicestershire Live, uh, they are doing their best to uh, scare everybody that there'll be nothing on the shelves and there'll be massive queues outside the supermarkets. Well, anyway, I've just rolled into Morrison's. The time is uh, 11.40. I think I got there about uh, 10 to 11. Yeah, I phoned June up and said I was doing something. <clears throat> if you go on to Blue Van Manchester, you'll see what I was doing. Um, Cafe Nero's bloody shit pigs in blanket sandwich. Um, yeah, so I phoned her up. So I got here about 10 to 11. Nobody queuing outside. It's busy, but it's not as busy as the media would like to have you think. Um, the shelves were stocked full of fresh fruit, uh, fresh salad stuff, fresh veg. No problems whatsoever. No problems whatsoever. Um, the only thing they had run out of was uh, white bread. Uh, te uh, not Tesco's, Morrison's do their own white bread, which I'm rather fond of. So I went to get the white bread. Guess what? Fucking sold out, right? But there's loads of Warburton's bread. There's loads of uh, other Morrison's bread. There's fucking shit loads of brown bread, which proved my point that nobody eats brown bread, right? Nobody eats it. It's just a fucking myth that everybody eats brown bread. Can't stick the damn stuff. Um, yeah, so what I'm saying is, folks, is that the media, right, they should be held account. I'm going... Power of the transit. Um, <coughs> bit dry, folks, bit dry. Wearing this bloody bandana thing. Um, yeah, the media should be held account. Leicestershire Live, keep putting reports on Facebook and other sites that um, the shelves are empty and what they do is they take a picture of an empty box, an empty crate on the uh, fruit and veg bit. So what it is doing is it is scaremongering people into thinking, oh shit, I better be sitting outside fucking Morrison's, Tesco, Sainsbury's, co-op, right? Sitting outside waiting for them to open so I can get in and get all the, I can buy myself 28 lettuces. So people I don't run out of lettuce right but all that happens is you eat a load of shit over Christmas you haven't got people coming round your house because Boris has put a fucking stop to that and twat Hancock right so that ain't going to happen so you're not going to have loads of food you're probably going to eat fuck all anyway right so why are the media pumping it that these places running out of food now granted right there might be some places that are running short but what they should be doing this media this fucking disastrous doom and gloom fucking uh, product that we have invented should be made to prove where this uh, shop is empty so then they the, the shop can say yeah we've run out of lettuce but this is here and this is there it, it just doesn't fucking weigh up they should not be allowed to print such fucking lies why have you got your fog lights on it ain't fucking foggy unbelievable um you should not be allowed to get away with this scaremongering and putting the, the public in fucking state of fear. Um, they just love it. And all it is, he's down to, it's just down to bloody clickbait. So you click on the report, you might see an advert for something that you might buy. And this should be stopped. This, the, the government should be getting in and saying, right, yeah, if the story's true, print it, print it. Let's, let's, let's know that 
fucking bridge enders ran out of lettuces Sainsbury's. Let's do it. Put it out there. Fair enough. But if it ain't true and it's not nationwide, then don't fucking do it. Just don't do it. It's wrong. Completely wrong. And uh, it just winds me up because the trouble is nowadays is that there's a lot of people out there who actually believe everything that the government, not the government, that the media tell them. They are for want of a better word, gullible, right? They're gullible to believe everything that the BBC, Sly News, Piers fucking Morgan and the rest of them say. And they don't, it, there's not a lot of truth in it sometimes. There really isn't a lot of truth. It should be, they should be fucking forced to prove what they're printing. It is wrong, completely wrong. Go on, mate, you go. Um, yeah, so that's about it, really. It's just fucking wrong I just can't believe it because people do believe anything you tell them well let you, I tell you what folks you believe me I've just been to Morrison's in Loughborough no problem staff are working hard the shelves are being restacked they're getting ready for fucking New Year's Eve fuck knows why why, we, why are they getting ready for New Year's Eve we're gonna be in fucking major lockdown it's gonna be like bloody summer again only piss poor weather B&Q that's fucking empty unbelievable so, um, yeah, that's all I've got to say. Just get the media to prove where the fucking reliable sources are. It's just completely wrong. And they should be fine. They should be fine for reporting inaccurate stuff, inaccurate uh, reports of places running out and just scaremongering gullible people. Did you know gullible is not in the dictionary? Go look it up. You can look up gullible, uh, see if you can find it in the dictionary. It's not there. All right, folks, right, Paul to put the traffic lights. Look at old Robin Reliant. I ain't seen one of them fucking ages, apart from only fools and horses. All right, folks, later.